So we're talking about telemetry and when you monitor patients just with tele, that only gives you a small glimpse of what's going on with that patient. And I think having the ability to kind of get other data elements of what's going on with that patient is, is pretty vital to kind of get a true picture of what's going on in the clinical presentation of that patient. So if you have the ability to, to do tele, great. And then you have pulse ox, you can add that, a patient's blood pressure, patient's temperature. Sometimes telemetry is great, but I think sometimes we also overutilize that. So in the hospital now, we have a lot of different things that we have. We have a lot of different ways that we monitor patients. With VSM, it's gonna give us a lot of different variables. Number one is, it's a very modular system. You have the ability to increase that acuity and decrease that acuity within whatever care area that you're in. This new technology from Osimo Every bed could be pulse ox, so you can still put people on, on the right level of monitoring. And then you can convert any bed to a tele. So if I have a new patient on any floor and they need new tele, I don't have to hardwire it. I just add the new VSM monitoring and instantly I could transform it. One of the challenges that we have is not just having enough beds in the acute care space, but we're also seeing that patients are holding in the ER, then they're coming up to the med surge space, and there's a lot of time that it takes when you're transferring a patient, you're transitioning them from a higher level to a lower level of care. And it's really important that you have the ability to save that time in the acute care space so that you can utilize VSM to actually increase or decrease that acuity level based on the needs of that patient. And so I think really having a combination piece where I can add things on, you know, maybe if somebody who's on, uh, who's has some issues with uh, ventilation or respiratory issues, and you know, we saw that a lot in COVID, maybe telemetry is not the only component that you want. And honestly, you know, basic dysrhythmia components of are the last things that happen when somebody's having issues with their respiratory status. So, you know, so that is, that's the last thing you would actually see is, is a dysrhythmia to pop up if they're kind of desatting. So having somebody's pulse ox or having somebody monitoring their end total CO2, or whatever other data element that we could monitor, I think really provides a, a bigger glimpse of the overall picture of what's going on with the patient. VSM is a game changer because of its superior versatility. There is no other tool out there that can simultaneously decongest the emergency department while providing a line of sight on those patients that have been triaged into the waiting area, into the hallways, and at the same time can go into the med surge space and provide a modular type of configuration that allows us to better fit the monitoring needs of the patients than a lot of the existing solutions in the marketplace, which either fall short of the mark, or in the case of telemetry, where there's rampant overutilization, overshoot the mark, where we're using a very expensive and time-consuming resource inappropriately to monitor patients that can be well-served with a less cumbersome, lightweight, untethered solution that promotes ambulation and the types of things that we need our patients to do in the hospital so they can get better and so they can go home and advance into the next phase of their recovery. We can't underestimate the power of that clinician at the bedside. I think that clinicians at the bedside are going to tell us that if we can give them the tools to care for that patient in the most comfortable environment, that we're gonna have the best outcome. Patients who are admitted with pancreatitis, GI bleeding, bloodstream infection, other types of patients that today are getting placed on telemetry monitoring because again, there is a need for continuous assessment of their vital signs can be well served by an alternative solution such as Radius VSM. Patients are in the hospital all the time who aspirate. We have aspiration pneumonias. We have ventilator associated pneumonias. We have neurosurgical patients and other surgical patients who have to have their head of the bed up 35 or 45 degrees. With this technology that you can add, that plug and play, so to speak, allows that clinician at the bedside to guide and dictate the care of that patient. We can't take that away from the clinician at the bedside. That's why that nurse at the bedside is so important because they're making that clinical assessment in real time to say, this is the most appropriate technology for this patient. And I think what Massimo has done is we've allowed them to keep it in their tool belt.
And that way, when it's needed, they take it out and use it. If it's not needed, they put it back. It truly completes this loop in the hospital where I can link patient monitoring based on what their risks are and what their needs are, and then we link that to clinical protocols to further drive this risk. We think the harms in the hospital will be down significantly when this is deployed. This is something that we together as an organization are collaborating with our healthcare partners on in building solutions to build a better future for uh, the world and for the population of patients that we serve, which is my mother, your brother, your cousin, uncle. We're all in this together. And I think that's something that is a very important message not to lose sight of as we uh, go into this new space as a company.